G'day, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series. And as you can see, I'm out in the bush, in the Australian outback. But I've got a bit of a problem, don't we all? I've got an issue with my solar panel system. And I'm out here for a week, so I need my solar panels to actually work and function. Otherwise, everything in the fridge is going to go off. So the voltage regulator's failed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own voltage regulator for your solar panel system that doesn't cost you a cent and can get you out of trouble. How good does that sound? Well, if you want to find out more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So as you can see here, it looks like a rather odd setup. I've got my solar blanket, which is a hundred watt solar blanket, and then there's stuff on top. Well, the reason behind it is this here. This is the voltage regulator for it. And I woke up this morning and I went to check it to see how much it was charging, and I just twisted ever so slightly, and the wires in here actually shorted out. Now, that's obviously fried the circuit board. Now, your standard solar panel system that I've figured out generally puts out around about 20 volts, and that's when it's getting full sun. Now, if I were to obviously get 20 volts and put it into a 12 volt battery, that's obviously going to be too much. So, what myself and my friend came up with is we figured if we blocked off the solar panels from the sun until we got around about 13 to 14 volts. And that's exactly what we've done here. We've then got the wires that were going in from the solar panel and then going out from the voltage regulator to the battery. And we've just basically twisted them together, put some electrical tape around them, hooked it up to the battery, and I'm using a multimeter every couple of hours or so just to keep an eye on the battery to see if it's not getting overcharged or cooked you could say and it's working fine so this might seem like a bit of a, a silly idea and a little bit ludicrous and all the rest but it's over 500 kilometers to the nearest town where I can get a voltage regulator and it's probably a two week fortnight's wait to actually get one of these so this is the best solution and this is what happens when you're in remote areas and uh, you're in the bush. You've got to think for yourself and you've got to use that age-old thing called initiative. So anyway, just a little video I thought that you might find of use. It's certainly something that surprised me. And look, if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, uh, please make sure to obviously check us out on Patreon. All proceeds go to these videos. And if that's not your cup of tea, you can support us via our website. And if you're new to the channel, then please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Click on that notification button too, and that way you won't miss out on one single video. Anyway, I hope to see you in our next video.